Hey everyone, John for Collegiate Tech here, and welcome to my 2018 Fall Desk Tour. So for any of you that have been following the channel for any amount of time, you'll notice that this desk tour itself, this desk setup I have, has really been a labor of love over the past year or so. Back last August, in fall of 2017, I actually started building the computer itself, and then as I've moved off campus, and as I'm just able to kind of create my own space, the area that I've dedicated to my desk and to that setup itself has actually gotten much better. When designing a desk setup, one of the most important things is to make sure that you keep in mind that what you're using the space for is still important. Even though looks are important as well, the workflow that you're actually creating, the environment you're going to be working in is also extremely important as well. So for this desk, I was able to get to a point where I'm comfortable with the way everything's set up, but also very comfortable with the way things look. Although arguably not a minimalistic setup, everything on my desk serves a purpose, and it's there for me to be able to maximize workflow while minimizing the amount of stuff I have to actually keep track of. So the Collegiate Tech channel has been dedicated to technology from a college student's perspective since the beginning, and this desk itself is no exception. The desk itself is actually a consignment piece from my hometown. The dark wood finish combined with the white LEDs and everything else I have going on really creates an aesthetic that I really enjoy working in, and I think it's conducive to workflow because it's not distracting like a, an RGB setup would be, but it's also not just plain and boring. It's something that I actually look forward to coming home at the end of the day and sitting down at my desk and whether it's homework or video editing or whatever it else it is I'm working on, I look forward to actually doing work at this desk. So in terms of theming, other than the desk itself, which is that dark wood, you'll notice an, an overall black white vibe that I've got. Uh, the speakers themselves, the Logitech Z200s are a very budget option, but they allow me to edit videos and listen to music without wearing headphones if that's kind of what I decide to do. Next up on the desk is the Google Home Mini. It's one of two Home Minis we have in the apartment, and I use it from time to time. Uh, since it's in my room, um, since you know I don't have a whole lot of space, so my desk is actually in my bedroom, I use it for things like the weather, uh, for playing music, and then just having it on the desk is a really nice, convenient option for me to be able to just ask Google a question really quickly or check my schedule for the day, check my calendar my reminders and things like that. For the monitors, they're nothing too fancy. One of them is an Asus 1920 by 1080 display. It's 75 hertz. It's what I mostly use for productivity, a little bit of gaming, that kind of thing. It's great to edit off of just because of the screen real estate. It is a 24 inch monitor. And then the second one, nothing special. It's actually, I don't even know the, the brand of the monitor itself, but it's in portrait orientation just to be able to help me kind of have a full page that I can look at for editing or for having a web page open while I'm coding or something like that. The keyboard and mouse stick with the same black and white aesthetic. The keyboard is the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro white LED keyboard. It's got Cherry MX blue switches. I really enjoy the tactile feedback. The mouse itself is actually just the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, and I just keep that on the white LEDs to kind of stick with the same overall look. If you've been watching the channel from the beginning, you'll notice that my first kind of audio setup was a CAD GXL2400 USB microphone. And while that microphone was a condenser, and it, it did serve the purpose that I needed it to on the channel at that point in time with recording audio, communicating with people. It really wasn't anything special. The microphone itself, it, it like I said, it did what it needed to do, but since then I've really upgraded. So the microphone I'm rocking right now is an Audio-Technica 875R XLR microphone, and that microphone goes right into my Behringer Euphoria audio interface. So this allows me to get crisp, clean sound that I can edit very well, and I've had quite a few people comment on just the, the sound integrity and everything like that, and it's great for use in voiceovers and just for communicating with people in Discord and, and Skype and things like that. So the computer portion of my setup, like I mentioned, was built in last fall. Uh, you can check out that video in the top the corner right here. But basically, it just sticks with the same vibe, that same black, white, clean look that I've got with the, the tempered glass side panel and all the components inside. And um, check out that video, like I said, for just a breakdown of, of all the components and why I chose them, the budget options that I went with, but still something that allows me to edit accurately and actually work well within my workflow. So th this setup itself has been kind of, like I said, the love child of quite a few months of planning and research and putting it all together. Something like this doesn't happen overnight. The headphones that I've got, uh, I purchased last spring even, it was last May, and then I just started kind of assembling components around that, sticking with the look that I wanted, but just stressing the point that, you know, if you're in college, 
it's really important to stay under a budget to make sure you're not going out and just buying everything at once because you can it's easy to see a setup like this on YouTube and just be like wow that's something that I really aspire to that's something I want in my life but that kind of technology that kind of money unless you're fortunate enough to be able to spend all of that at once it is something that takes a lot of time it's something that takes a lot of planning so it's important to not just go out and impulse buy a lot of things that match and look cool and then hope it all comes together it's very important to, to focus on what works for you and to not base what you have off of kind of the idea that someone else gave you. That being said though, I really would appreciate, you know, if you like this video, if you like the setup I have, go ahead and, and leave a comment down below. All of the products that I did mention in this video, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Those are our Amazon affiliates links. So if you wanna support the channel, go ahead and click those. And I'll actually, if you end up buying anything through Amazon based on those links, we actually get a, a portion of that, which we'd really appreciate. That'll about do it for this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, go ahead and put those down in the comment section below. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more content in the next coming days.